some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, I managed to discover a blast from the past, a real sobtard who, uh, well, tried so hard but ended up failing. We go all the way back to 2012, well, December of 2012, with a sovereign citizen by the name of Jennifer Herring. Now, what makes this case so special is that she was, uh, being followed by a police officer because of, uh, how she was driving and, uh, well, when the police finally decided to pull her over, they turned on the lights and she ended up calling the police while she was being chased at 40-something miles per hour. And, well, she refused to pull over until they paid her $300,000 for the uh, traffic stop. Well, needless to say, they never paid the $300,000, but she eventually did stop when she was cornered. Uh, and here is the... Uh, 911 call she made that night. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Roger, can I have one with emergency? Hi, this is Jenna. I don't have the emergency, but the car behind me does. Okay. And I'm trying to figure out what that is because I'm driving 45 on, I believe it's Dog's Pen Road. Okay. And I have a contract with you guys that um, if you want to go ahead and declare a false sense of emergency is $300,000 per incident. Wow, $300,000. That's fairly cheap for a lot of sovereign citizens these days. Uh, generally, they go up to uh, $5 million or something like that. But it actually depends on the individual sovtard's uh, fee schedule. I mean, it could be as little as uh, 10,000 silver coins or as much as a hundred million dollars for even the simplest of infractions against them. So we at least know they're still quite delusional now as they were then about uh, all these uh, imaginary fines they like to impose upon the police officers. So, I need to make sure, I need to make sure that you guys are willing to pay the, the fee that you already owe before I pull over. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about. What can I do for you? I know you don't, I know you don't, but there is a officer that's apparently affiliated with your agency with his emergency lights on and and his siren on right now, which is a false sense of uh, emergency. And if I am not mistaken, there's no sense of emergency. Has there anyone been reported run over? Okay. Or is there anyone been reported hurt? Okay. Because I don't think that they are. Oh, man, have you been really kicking back the uh, liquid crayons before you went on this uh, low-speed chase, considering that you're using no, the no-victim-no-crime fallacy? I mean, come on now. There doesn't need to be a victim for a traffic infraction. It is a minor crime, but still a crime nonetheless. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention earlier that she was driving on a suspended license. So I would imagine that the officer uh, pulled that up from the license plate and decided to pull her over. Well, just one of many reasons besides her uh, reckless driving, which she also got charged for. Okay, I'm not running for this cop. I'm doing 40 miles an hour with this cop behind me with his freaking siren on acting like a moron. Can you okay. please let him know to turn it off because okay, I'm not running? Ma'am. <laughs> Can you pull over no, for no, ma'am? Can you pull over for the officer? Over because that's voluntary. That's voluntary. There's no emergency. You already declared that there's no emergency. Yeah. If there's not an emergency, then why am I going to pull over? I'm not even I'm not, Ma'am, I'm not the officer. I'm this all I'm telling. I'm only asking you too is just to pull over for the officer. Oh, here's another officer. Of course, of course, you guys would do this. Of right. course, you guys would do this. This is. Why are you guys doing this? You're trying to run me off the road. That's what is your name? What is no, your name? No, I'm asking you. I, my name is Jenna. John Rogers knows all about me. If you guys want to keep contending like this, I'll just go ahead and have John Rogers go ahead and come onto the scene. Hey, ma'am, can you just pull over for the officer? No, I'm not pulling over because pulling over is voluntary. Why am I going to pull over for you? 
Uh, you know, someone who doesn't pull over when a police officer asks them to pull over is kind of one of those things that leads to, uh, well, high-speed police chases. And you know what kinds of people really uh, end up doing that? You know. Morons. <laughs> I'm not doing nothing wrong. You told me there's no emergency. If there's nothing emergency, I, I am not the officer. Are you ready to pay the $300,000? I, I am not the officer. Are you ready to pay the $300,000? That's all I want to know. If you guys want to pay the three hundred grand, then I'll pull over for you. I will pull over for three hundred grand. That is my offer. I'm asking you to accept it. Can I get a warrant? Hello? Ma'am, this is my warrant. Ma'am, this is 911. I'm not the officer, okay? I'm not giving you. I'm not giving Dumbass, there doesn't have to be an emergency to pull your sorry ass over. You committed a traffic infraction, or it was your uh, license issue that sparked the whole thing. You pull over, you get it taken care of, and you move on with your life. You don't act like a complete dumbass and charge $300,000 for your mistakes or your stupidity. Oh, 
oh my goodness, this is so hilarious. She ran a stop sign because they were chasing her because of her issues, and she's blaming them for uh, running the stop sign because of her own stupidity, and now the speeds have gone up to 90 miles an hour, and she's still blaming them for this whole thing. This is unbelievable. And this is truly what being a soft heart is all about. Not taking responsibility for your own actions and believing that you are somehow above the law. This woman is a perfect example of that. You need to stop this right now. I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm the only you way forward to stop. I'm working at 33. I'm going to hold you personally accountable because I told you that there's no the only way forward to stop is for you to pull over. There is no way to pull over because they are, don't you get that? Ma'am, if you just... they try to trip? Are you just, trying to say that there's an emergency around me? Is that what they're trying to say? If you just stop your car, they will handle it with you. Why in the world would they need to stop my car when there's no emergency? I have no idea. They're trying to pull over. They're trying to pull over. This has to be one of the most hilariously stupid moments in solved tart history that I have ever seen. Charging $300,000 to stop a police pursuit because you are in the wrong. And still saying the exact same things while she is being taken in. And here is what she was charged with according to the news website that I found this all. 
Man, oh man, oh man, I would love to find out what happened to her all these years later. That would be an interesting uh, case study right there to see if she still invested her time and patience into this dead end of a uh, lifestyle choice. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.